but I'm not a soldier, really. No, of course you're not. That's why I'm embedding you with several hundred thousand men and women who are. While it is an honor, General, I'm afraid I'm have to decline. Can't stand the sight of blood. Not so much as a paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it's si sitting here thinking about this, uh, uh, a couple of names come to mind that I feel I could recommend to you. It's, it's not an offer, Major. It's an order. General, I am an officer in the United States military. You don't even have the authority. I have spoken to your CO. You are now under my command. You will retain your present rank, of course. My secretary has all the details. Do a good job, Major. Good luck. You are dismissed. General? I just inspired millions of people to join your army. And when the body bags come home, and they're looking for someone to blame. How hard do you think it would be for me to convince people to blame you? I'd imagine the general would prefer to avoid that. Are you blackmailing me, Major? I would prefer not to be filming acts of heroism and valor on that beach tomorrow. You won't be. I'm glad we could uh, work this out. Uh, if you'll excuse me, General, I. Thank you. Well, Arrest this man. Maggots! There's no way to address an officer. Sergeant. That's how I address a slack jawed recruit right before I bust his hole with my boot heel. Maggot! Hold up there, son. Can I help you, sir? Where the hell am I, Sergeant? Forward operating base Heathrow. You just came in with the fresh recruits. Do I strike you as a fresh recruit? No, sir, you do not. My name is Major William Cage. I'm an American officer. Officer? This is processing. There's no officer down here. I got this side. How the hell did you end up in processing? What was it? Polka night? Bachelor party? It's all the same to you, Sergeant. I'd like to explain that to my commanding officer in Washington, so if you just take me to a phone. Haven't you heard? We're T-minus all S-H hour. We're fixing to invade France. This whole FOB's on lockdown, no calls. In or out. Name's Farrell. That's right. Master Sergeant Farrell. Master Sergeant Farrell, you're an American. No, sir. I'm from Kentucky. Okay, well, look at me. Look at where I am. I've been railroaded. It's obvious I don't belong here. So please, Sergeant, there has to be a way I can make a phone call. I'll get you sorted out, sir. Thank you. Right this way. Where are you from in Kentucky, Sergeant? A little town called Science Hill. Heard of it? I have now. How about you? Where are you from? Cranberry, New Jersey. They grow a lot of cranberries there, do they? Tomatoes. Best you ever had. Why are they call it cranberry then? Why do they call it Science Hill? Never ask. Don't care. <laughs> After you. 
You're not taking me to the phone, are you, Sergeant? No, I'm not. Seems about the only honest thing you said to me so far is your name. It says here you're a deserter. It says here you were caught impersonating an officer. It says here you'd likely try to make an outside call, even compromise security of this operation. Anything to get out of combat duty tomorrow. But that's not gonna happen. Ever. Private Cage. is a terrible thing. Now, nightfall, these men will all reach the same conclusion. That you're a coward and a liar, putting your life above theirs. The good news is there's hope for you, Private. Hope in the form of glorious combat. The battle is the great redeemer, the fiery crucible in which the only true heroes are forged. The one place where all men truly share the same rank, regardless of what kind of parasitic scum they were going in. <laughs> squad, this here is Private Cage. Private Cage, J Squad. Isn't that an officer's uniform? Oh, she still ain't Officer Cufflinks. I see everyone is having a productive morning. You know, it gives me a swell of pride knowing soldiers of your caliber will be leading the charge tomorrow. Tip of the spear, edge of the knife, crack of my ass. Oh. Father Kimmel, what is my view of gambling in the barracks? Just like it, Sergeant Farrell. Nance, why do I dislike it? Because it entertains the notion that our fate is in hands other than our own. And what is my definitive position on the concept of fate, Chorus? Through, Through readiness, readiness and discipline, we are masters of our fate. You might call that notion ironic. But trust me, you'll come around. Private Cage is a deserter. I'm making you all personally responsible for his deliverance. He will be combat ready at 06 Honey tomorrow. Combat ready? Private Cage is under delusion he does not belong here. We must dissuade him of this delusion. If he tries to run, feel free to dissuade him until he can't piss standing Sorry, up. You have to listen to me. I will never be caught. I ready. envy you, Cage. Tomorrow morning, you will be baptized. Born again. PT, 10 minutes. You're not in uniform. It's a new day, people. Destiny calls. The world expects only one thing from us, that we will win. 